This is my belly. 18 weeks, here we are. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel, it's Becky. Today is such an exciting day for us. We are going to our baby boy's anatomy scan. We are 18 weeks. I'm just waiting for Leo to get out of work. It's about 10.30 right now, yeah, 10.30. Our anatomy scan is at 1.30. Whew, I am so out of breath. I am at that point where everything gets me out of breath. I don't know how much they're gonna let me bring my camera in or if they're gonna let me record any of it, but I'm gonna try to get as much as I can, even if I have to sneak it, but come with us because this is so exciting. <laughs> For this video to end up as a sit down video um yesterday was a really hectic day after the appointment that we had with baby boy all went well in his anatomy scan we got to see him he's measuring perfectly everything is great with him he's doing well but after that anatomy scan we went running around doing errands since we were so far out we might we like just tried to do everything at once so we ran errands, we did groceries, we got home. By the time we put the groceries away, got the girls showered, got dinner done, cleaned up. I was pooped. We were all pooped and all we did was just watch a movie and relax. And we all fell asleep, honestly. So the rest of this video is just going to be a sit down video with a baby bump, new symptoms, why I didn't update week 17. And I have another box. Well, this one's a bag, but... I couldn't contain myself so week 17 I didn't get to update because I thought I had COVID I got COVID tested I was hyper analyzing every single little symptom like if my nose was hurting I was hyper analyzing I was coughing I think that it was just a crazy week so I didn't want to even record because I was just in my mind scared but thankfully the test came back negative we thought we had COVID because Leo came in contact with somebody who thought they had COVID too and I got I think they got tested I don't know but all I know is that we were not positive we were all negative so thankfully that hurdle is over for week 17 and 18 my symptoms really have kind of changed honestly the first one I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be real I am so tired of buying new bras already I've gone three times and the new ones that I got like two or three weeks ago do not fit anymore. My boobs have grown so much. I've never experienced this with the girls. I never experienced, like my boobs got bigger at the end of the pregnancy when I was about to give birth. But this time, they're like, since the beginning, it's it's crazy. But, so that's something completely different. Um, and I'm itchy. These past two weeks, I've been itchy like everywhere like my arms my tummy my legs just itchy all around itchy i feel like my body's just growing with the pregnancy obviously my tummy is but i feel like my whole body is like just growing um my cravings this week <laughs> normally i'm like a total sweet tooth i cannot live without having like cookies or something sweet constantly and that has stayed true I know with boy pregnancies, they say that sour candy or sour stuff and savory stuff. My sour candy cravings have gone down. I'll still have like, I still have like a little bag of sour patches. Just, you know, just in case. But I am making cookies almost every other night. <laughs> making cookies or <laughs> making cinnamon rolls or something sweet constantly. I can finally drink coffee normally. I don't have to like think two or three times about it for cravings that's pretty much it i but i have been craving like food like real food i've made lasagna i've made like a ton of spaghetti i've made like big meals um a ton of soup still so definitely craving a lot of savory stuff and i'm having like this one craving that's kind of weird it's creeped me out so i haven't even tried it yet because i'm like creeped out that i'm even craving it should i tell you guys Ugh. Okay, it's a bagel with cream cheese filled with hot Cheetos. 
like just talking about it my mouth is watering and i got all of the ingredients when we went grocery shopping just in case i would be daring enough to try it one of these days but it just sounds so good i normally i eat like hot cheetos with cream cheese or with lime on it but now with a bagel involved it's just a little too weird for me but we'll see baby boy i think he's nine ounces now he's the size of a of a green pepper he's nine ounces he's supposed to be measuring six ounces but he's nine ounces but the, the machine is always like off a little bit so i'm pretty sure he's exactly what he should be Okay, so now for the exciting part. This is my Amazon um, gift, registry gift, free gift that they get, that they give out. Um, with both of the girls, it was a box and it was completely different than it is now. I'm kind of disappointed with what came in the bag. I am and I'm not at the same time. But with both of the girls in 2017 and 2019, it had completely different things. So, first off, a man bottle which I'm pretty sure that by the end of me getting all of these little baby gift bags, I'm not gonna need any bottles because they always supply with the same ones. So by the time I'm done, I'm gonna have like five or six of each Avon bottles and man bottles, even though I plan on breastfeeding, so. I have like three Avon bottles already. These are Huggies diapers. Huggies is really, really pushing these diapers. Everybody has contracts with them with these free baby boxes these water wipes which i loved with aubrey i used to put this um this was the best for me in the middle of the night i would have just this next to my bedside while i was breastfeeding her or wow i really did formula with her but these i really like those honestly i don't know why i never like kept buying them okay this one came with a baby dove lotion, which is exciting because I don't think any other one has come with that before. I love this company. We live in the Keys, so this company is literally everywhere here. All of my lip balms, all, most of my sunscreens, like it's this company. And I'm so excited that they're in a baby box. Like that's crazy. This is baby bum coconut balm. So it's vegan, hypoallergenic. I'm so excited about this one. I love all of their products. Like I said, I have almost all of them. So it came sealed, but I can't wait to smell it um, and try it out. I'm really excited about this one. I'm super happy that it actually came with this because I didn't even know they had it. So the next one is the next one is Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo. It's a nice size. Then it came with this. It always comes with this. And some aquifer healing ointment. Which is good to have if you're going to go to like a quick doctor's appointment with a baby. And you don't want to take like a huge like baby bomb. You just take these. I love these. Like this size. I love it. And then it came with. Oh, just announcing that Medela Baby has now pacifiers and Gerber Good Start coupon. It came with like a little ad for their Amazon Baby Registry. And then the same little wash that they gave. They gave like a little info about it. But that's it, and it came in a bag. So, like I said, it's not my favorite. The girls, before, they came with muslin blankets. It came with like a cute couple onesies. It came with a lot of different things that I feel were more necessary or more essential. But this time, it didn't come with a muslin blanket. It did not come with the onesie. It came with a nice samples, but I like the old ones better, so I don't know. 
what are your thoughts have you have have you tried this before have you gotten it are you getting it this time it's super easy just start a registry create 60 percent of whatever they think should be on your registry and then just spend ten dollars of your registry so you can even add like a case of water and buy it and send it to your house and as long as it's on your registry they'll send you this so it's a pretty good deal i mean i think we all use amazon so ten dollars isn't that big of a threshold to pass to get something so that's it for today's video um let me know if you guys i know some of you are pregnant with me what are your symptoms what were your symptoms and cravings at 18 weeks we're almost halfway there guys i'm so excited i'm nervous i want to fast forward to my due date already but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye